Welcome to the how-to video on how to access your online global studies textbook. First things first, you want to go to your online course or your in-person course, either way. Now, if I do a quick student view, what you'll notice on the sidebar of the information is there's a link called class link. All right. Just so you can see that you should only have three options when you click on the things on the left hand side of your screen. Some of you don't have this option toggled down, so what you need to do to see it is click these three bars. Notice when I click those, when they're showing, it makes them disappear. It's just a way for you to easily access other things on your, on your home screen. What you want to do is click these three bars up where it says what class you're in. That will drop down your class links option. So that's the first step. Now I'm going to leave student view here so that I can make sure I can access everything that you can see. So I'm going to click on my class link. What it's going to ask me to do is open this into a new tab. Make sure you don't have a pop-up blocker open because that will actually shut down this tab and not let it open. So I'm going to open in a new tab. New tab starts. These are all the different types of things that you can do when accessing your, um, accessing your online courses. So we're in Iowa City class links. Uh, one thing you need to do if you're accessing Zoom is use Clever. Okay, now our textbook, the My World Geography edition, is located online on this button. So I'm going to click that. It may ask me for a login. At this point, you want to make sure that you log in with your student ID, or not student ID, your student name. What this is, is your email without the at IC students behind it. So the first two letters of your first name, the first three letters of your last name, and your graduation year, that's all you need to put. And then your password to log on to your device will suffice. Next, <clears throat> you can either click on where it says My World Geography Survey, and a Realize, that will open it up into a new document. Or if you have this option over here on the right-hand side, you can click on that. Now, this is the home page for our textbook. We will never use the red section or the blue section. Okay, we will always go into this green section no matter what. Just remember, green is the color of my book. Green is the one that we'll go into. If it asks you to log in, you may have to do a password recovery. Go through that process, and it should allow you to enter once that whole process is done. We've had students where it's taken several hours uh, to get uh, the password recovery to actually let them launch, so be patient with it and contact me if you have any information or any questions. So we're going to go into our textbook now. And it's going to open to this section. Now there's a couple different views in this section. This is the table of contents. So always look for what we're, what we're doing here, table of contents. If I want a thumbnail view, or if I want a list view, it's going to list my things like this. Chances are when you open it for the first time, this is the view that you will see. All right. So. As we scroll down here, our homework for the majority of this first several weeks will be in the section titled Core Concepts. So again, if I'm in my list view, if you prefer this one, I'm going to scroll down to Core Concepts, and I'm going to click into Core Concepts. If we're talking about resources or anything with human-environmental interaction, we want to be in Section 4, and I'll try and remember to tell you that. Section 4 is Core Concepts, Human-Environmental Interaction. And then you have to launch your book, which is in this one. Okay, so we need to launch our book. Uh, maybe I accidentally hit customize there. Eh? All right, so when we launch our book, we're going to click on this guy right here. It's going to open a new window. Now, notice we've gone through Canvas to Class Links to the first Savas Easy Bridge page. And then we clicked on Realize made us go into the textbook, and then we had to get into a new window again. So we're in our fourth, one, two, three, fifth window uh, after clicking in Easy Bridge. Now we're on page 46. Let's say for the first assignment uh, of the year, we had to go to page 48. All right, now I can't just search page 48 because there's not a link that will take me to 48. I have to search for maybe a keyword that is on page 48, or I can flip through the book on these next or back um, next or back buttons, and it will take me to the next page or back a page. Now, again, that's going to cumbersome, and it takes a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a keyword that is on the page I want to go to. So I know fossil fuel, 
is on the page I want to go to. So I notice that it lists other resources, so I'm guessing that is the first page of that section. And what I'm going to do is, this is Core Concepts 4.1, okay? Also, if I go to the chapter, let's see if we can search Core Concepts 4.1. That will also take us to that first page, like it's showing right here. So we can also search the chapter itself, which is an easy way to get to the exact page that you want. Once I'm there, I want to make sure I bookmark this page. Okay, how you bookmark, that way I can go back and reread it if I need to, or I can bookmark it and save it for a later time to read. Once I bookmark that, if I close the search section, you'll notice table of contents, bookmarks, annotated highlights, notebook, glossary. The thing that you'll probably use the most is bookmarks. So when I click on bookmarks, notice I bookmark page 48, concepts 4.1. Now I want to read this. One option you have in your online textbook is to click this, and it will actually uh, read the words of the page to you aloud. As I'm screen sharing, let's see if it does it. So my audio is not playing through my headset that I know of, uh, but it should be reading through these different parts of our textbook. So that's a nice feature that it has if it works the way it's supposed to. I get done with that page, I click next. I read this page, page 49. And as it switches to page 49, I can read the rest of my entry. Most chapters are uh, normal chapters when we're in a region are anywhere from uh, four to six pages long. These core concept pages are all each chapter is only two pages. And then it has some assessment questions at the end. You do not have to do these, but it's a good idea to look at these and be able to answer those after reading the two pages. So if you can't answer those questions after reading the two pages, I would go back and reread those again just to make sure you get some of the bigger ideas. Hopefully this video helps you log in and access your online textbook.